Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. First of all, I've got to say thank you so much for all of the comments on my last video in my kind of thank you video. They were really overwhelming in a really great way. So I really do appreciate anyone who took the time just to leave a brief comment there or even if you didn't and you just watched the video and you are one of my 60,000 subscribers. So thank you again. I did also mention in that video that my background will be changing. It's not changed yet and that's because the backdrops I use are huge paper backdrops and my arms don't reach wide enough to do it myself. So I'm just waiting for Adam to help me with that. Some of you were worried that I was going to change from being monochromatic and so I just want to put your mind at ease when I say that it's not black or white but it's as close as black and white that you could get to and still being a colour. So don't worry. It's not going to be like glittery or bright pink or anything. I promise you. Anyway, <laughs> on to today's video. So I am doing a what's in my bag video, which I actually love doing. I love watching these videos, and I know a lot of you guys really love them too because it's kind of fun to be nosy sometimes. This is gonna be a little bit different because typically I would just pull stuff out of my bag and show you what's in there, but I thought this time it might be fun to kind of do things in reverse. And so I'm gonna show you how I pack my bag. As a lot of you know, I'm a very anxious human, so I do like to be prepared for every single possible thing that could happen. The bag I'm going to be using is the Angela Roy Eleanor. Now it's a really nice little size. I would say it's a fairly small bag still but it does have a lot of really usable compartments in it so it's this kind of concertina style and then you have these separate compartments in the middle. If you are not familiar with Angela Roy, I've made a bunch of videos of their bags before. I will link my Angela Roy collection video up in the cards if you're interested. Angela Roy are a vegan and cruelty-free handbag line. They also make kind of smaller leather accessories too and I'm really hoping that they'll just keep expanding to like maybe shoes, I don't know. So these bags are beautifully made. They're definitely a luxury bag as far as I'm concerned. I did used to love kind of designer leather handbags before I made the connection in my head that that was probably you know not the nicest thing to do. I would say these are just as well made as any designer bag I've ever had. Guilt free obviously because they are vegan and yeah I've been super impressed with them. If you watch that collection video you'll know because I've got a lot of their bags. So in order to pack your bag for any occasion, pick your bag then I'm just gonna put her there. Then what I like to do is I take a little tub or box. I got these from Target and I just use them to kind of organize product um, if I'm gonna film or I used to use it for like my incoming outgoing boxes um, before I needed to expand. So I just take a box or something and then I put anything in there that I'm like, I would like this to be in my bag ideally. Now, once you've kind of shoved everything in, you probably will find that you're not gonna fit all of it in, but you may also realize that you maybe have a smaller version of that thing or a travel size of that thing. So once you've gathered everything that you need and you've kind of pared things down and got them in smaller sizes if possible, for example, a facial mist, I happen to have a um, sample size one, a tiny little hairbrush. So if you do have smaller versions of anything that you would like to pack in your bag, obviously swap them out for those. And then once you have your box of things, I kind of start to organize them a little bit. So this is gonna seem really unnecessary for those people who just chuck things in the bag, but whatever process works for you, do it. This is what works for me. So in this situation where I have lots of small things in a fairly small bag, I do like to, if possible, use little bags or dividers. This one was from Sephora. It is a faux leather little cosmetic bag, nothing fancy, but I do like that it is very thin because it makes it easier to store in that bag. And then this one was from Pinrose. It's what my little um, Pinrose sample wipe set came in. I do think you can still get these, as with all my videos, everything I'm showing you. If I can find it, will be listed and linked in the description box, along with any other information that I think might be relevant. So I like to grab a couple of little pouches to make things a little easier. Then I take out anything from this box which is a bigger item that doesn't need to be put in a little bag. So for example, sunglasses, wallets, what else? battery charger, headphones, anything bigger that you don't need to be in a little pouch. Typically things that you're gonna be reaching for the most. I would put them aside because you don't really need to put them in a little pouch. But then I just start taking some of the smaller things like maybe wipes or disposables and I'll start putting them in a little pouch. So in my Pinrose bag, funnily enough, I'm putting a Pinrose perfume wipe. This one is in uh, Secret Genius. It's a gorgeous scent. It is Madagascan vanilla, caramel and sandalwood. They are a vegan and cruelty-free perfume line. Highly recommend and I also have a video on their scents where I perhaps hilariously tried to describe what they smell like 
I'll link it up there. I also have a little tissue packet that I took from the last plane I was on, so that's going in there too. These are RMS Beauty um, makeup remover wipes, but all they are is a makeup wipe with liquid coconut oil on them. So you can use these anywhere. I also have some of my um, floss sachets. These are from Radius and they're cranberry flavor. It's vegan floss. You just tear the little thing in half and it's got floss running through it. Very convenient. I feel like I've given more of those to other people than I have actually used them, but nevertheless, it's good to be prepared. Help your friends out. I'm also gonna put in these really chic skincare blotting papers. These ones have rosehip oil in them and they're from My Couture on Petit Bour. First of all, they're pretty, they're pink. The packaging is a marble effect. And I just thought that was kind of interesting that it had rosehip oil in them, so it's gonna be a little nourishing for your skin as well as taking away any oil. They have a bunch of different ones. So definitely check these out if you're an oilier person that would also like to have like a little bit of treatment in your blotting papers, because I think they also have like a salicylic acid one and lots of different ones. So highly recommend checking these out. Then I'm gonna go for any little mini things I have. So this is the French Girl Organic Nail and Cuticle Oil. I got this in my Petit Bore subscription box. They're a vegan and cruelty-free subscription box, which I will link below if you're in interested. I love them. This is just a really nice cuticle oil. I might put some on right now. I mentioned this in a self-care products video which I'll also link but this is like my nice quiet little meditation time now and again like I said in that video it makes you look a little high maintenance but if you can have a little moment to yourself to enjoy some cuticle oil who cares? So that is going in this little bag too. See even just doing that I feel more calm crazy what you can train your brain to do. <laughs> I'm also going to put in this little roller bowl of, again, a Pinrose perfume. This one is in Garden Gangster. This one, oh my gosh, is so fresh. It smells like a sexy, fresh vegetable farmer. Mm. So that has to go in here too. What else? I have a little eye drop thing here. I don't really know much about these. I just know that they were a vegan eye drop option. And um, as probably a lot of you guys know, there's not a lot of like optometry stuff. <laughs> Is that even the right word? I don't know. Ophthalmologic? eye stuff that is vegan or cruelty free or at least it's just really hard to find out about. So I think I found these on Thrive Market and it said they were vegan, they were an eye drop, so I took them. Kind of weird, but I got really dry eyes and I wear contacts, so eye drops a must. Similarly, I have a nasal spray. Nasal sprays are so good, it's so important. If you have any kind of like dry sinus, allergies, you've just gotten over a cold and even when you breathe you choke and die, really recommend a nasal spray. This one is from Clear and it has xylitol in which is apparently really good for like sinus, inner ear stuff if I'm not mistaken. Let's do one now shall we? And then I always like tip my head back and let it <laughs> drip into my sinus for a minute after. Oh. It's always fun to do on the plane too, and then people are like looking at you wondering why you're sniffing and your eyes have maybe gone a little glazed over. Just a nail spray, man. And then I think I can probably fit about one more thing in this one, so I'm going to put in the Delectable, the Everything Balm. This is like an all-purpose balm. There are a ton of these out there, but they usually have beeswax in. This one doesn't. It's amazing. You can use it on your lips, cuticles, any dry skin on your body. You could apply a bit on your collarbone if you wanted to for a little glow, put it on your cheeks. And it's really good, really gentle, but does work really well. And it smells really nice too. It smells kind of like cake because it's from Cake Beauty. So go figure. If you do love multi-purpose stuff, highly recommend this. And then I think I might leave it at that for the Pinrose case. Next, I'm gonna take that Sephora one. A lot of you are probably thinking that this is way too much stuff, and it definitely is, but I also like to be prepared, and even if I don't use half of it, I know it's in my bag, so my brain can relax, because it knows that I can, you know, drop everything and give myself a full spa experience at any time. So I think I'm gonna put kind of makeup-y stuff and whatever's left in this one, so let's do the makeup first. I don't bring a ton of makeup with me um, in my bag usually, just kind of like the essential things or things I would wanna put on if I was in a hurry. So I've got the um, Kat Von D Locket Blotting Powder in Light. This stuff is really nice, beautiful packaging. Really nice mirror in there too, which is obviously useful because I don't have to take a separate one. And it's just a really nice kind of fine blotting powder looks really nice on the skin. So that's going in this bag. That does have a little kind of like powder puff thing with it, but I'm also gonna bring my Hourglass Ambient Light Brush, 
which is this funny little flat brush. Works really well for anything really. And even if I don't put any product on it, if I have any separation or anything, I'll just give it a quick wipe with that brush and it kind of smushes everything back into place. I'm also bringing a concealer. This one is from Au Naturel. It's just a really nice creamy-ish stick concealer. So it's really easy to just dot on where you need it, blend it out with your fingers or whatever you want to. And I just love the sleek little packaging. These are a much more natural brand. Vegan and cruelty free. I think they might be like gluten, paraben free and a bunch of other stuff too. So their concealer is going in this bag. I'm putting my new favorite lip liner in. It used to be the Youngblood lip liner and pout. This is like a better version of that. This is the Red Apple Lip Natural Lip Liner. It's a lot more kind of creamy and easy to use and you can also kind of rub it into the rest of your lip. This is what I have on today with another product in here on top of two amazing lip liners. Really recommend those and I got them on Petit Vore. The other lip product I have on is this Modern Minerals, what are you? Lip Pokeball. This was also in a Petit Vore box. Petit Vore is great for this, especially. Like, not only can you find different vegan and cruelty-free brands on there, but if you like smaller options to, like, keep in your travel bag or keep in your purse or just having, like, an emergency kit pre-kind of bundled and full of little minis, it's great for that. So this is the other thing I have on today. It looks kind of a bright, scary color, but it actually goes on pretty sheer and it's nice and nourishing, has a little bit of gloss. So that is what I have on top of that lip liner and I just kind of blended it in and it gave it a more kind of natural smudgy pout, I think. My little Pokeball also going in the bag. I'm also gonna throw this e.l.f. It just says illuminating. I'll have it linked below because there's stuff never says on it what it is. I usually give it a little shake first because it can separate a little bit but it's a kind of slightly champagne coloured glowy product. It does make you look kind of glossy. It's really beautiful so this is something I would maybe throw a bit on my chest, tops of my cheeks just to give your skin like a nice healthy glow because this stuff is really beautiful. This really should have been in my favorite glow products video but I think I must have like misplaced it somehow. So anyway that's going in here. Really easy to use. Gives a beautiful effect. Another Petit Vore mini is the Mullen and Sparrow Balancing Face Mist. It says it's for um, it's a toner for all skin types but just for a nice refresh. I think it's nice to carry a little facial mini mist. It does smell like a garden. I feel like not everybody would like this but I do really like it and I like to have a facial spray. I think that's all the makeup stuff, so I'm just going to put really whatever's left in here. So, I have the Uma Pure Energy Wellness Oil. This is like an essential oil blend and it's kind of like uplifting and supposedly energizing. Mm, it smells so nice. So I usually just put a couple drops in my hand, take a few deep inhales and try and, you know, convince myself to be energized. The love that I have for this lotion runs so deep. It's the Nubian Heritage Patchouli and Buriti Body Lotion. This is the mini I got from Petit Vore. I now have a full size and I just filled this up from the full size and put it in my bag. Great on the hands, whole body, wherever. Again, it smells beautiful. So it's just a really nice kind of comforting, it says uplifting scent. So that has to go in here. I also have this little breath spray from Hello. It's really cute. It came in a PR package from Cover Effects. Not sure if I should be offended. It's just a cute little breath spray. I also have this glasses cleaner, which is actually amazing. My mother-in-law got it for me and I was like, what is this weird thing? Let me show you, Let me get my glasses. So this is a part that pulls out. You um, slide, you slide either side of the glasses and just give it a wipe and it cleans them so well. So yeah, really recommend this thing. I thought it was just like a weird gimmicky piece of plastic. It is, but it also does clean your glass as well. Okay, then I have this little NCLA nail kit. It's very cute. I didn't realize how tiny it would be, honestly, when I ordered it. But it does have, you know, pretty much everything you can need. You have tiny scissors, a couple little cuticle pushery things, a nail file and nail clippers. You never know when you might need any of those tools. Not necessarily for nails either, so good to be prepared. All right, I think that's all that's going in this pouch now too. So we have our two pouches packed. If you are wanting to do this kind of thing too, usually I would like split it up between like makeup and one, other kind of like cleansing stuff in the other, but do whatever makes sense to you. So I do still move stuff around a bit, but I've just put one pouch in each side of this bag. And then out of the stuff that's left, I have my appointed adhesive note set, which just has these two little sticky note type things on the other side. One is a numbered list and then the other one is grid paper. And honestly, for a bag of this style where it is fairly um, streamlined, anything, any items you can find that are more streamlined or flat are going to help 
with this. So for my wallet lately, I've been using this one from, I think Urban Expressions. It just has a flap in the front, which I usually have a little cash in, but there's nothing in there right now. And then I have like cards, ID and stuff in the back pouches. So of course I'm gonna bring this. Then I have a little pouch just for change. I think I got this one from H&M years ago, but you can get these this kind of little pouch anywhere. It just has change in it. I'm also gonna pop in here my little crystal pendulum. If I can find it, I will link it. And a little horseshoe that my mom gave me years ago is going in here too. I have this little tin of um, Ginger Delights mango candies. You never know when someone might be like travel sick or something. They need a little ginger treat. I got it. So I'm just shoving that in the middle zipper pouch. I have my Mophie phone charger. That's going in the middle pouch too. Hopefully this will all fit. <laughs> my Listen earbuds. I really like these. Travel with them. They're comfortable. They fit in my ears and they're wireless too. So it's good if you have the newer phone that doesn't have the headphone jack. Again, that is going in the middle pouch. And then all I have left to put in here is my brush with a little hair tie on. I found this brush on Amazon forever ago. It's a Philips. Light Touch 6P. You know, I thought it looked kind of crappy in like an old lady brush, but I mean, old ladies usually get it right and they did with this too. So it's a really good hairbrush, especially if you're kind of like a fine haired tangly person. I am just gonna shove this wherever it fits. And then I have my sunglasses, which aren't in their own pouch that they're meant to be in because I don't know where it is. So I've just put them in this, but these are the Desi black high keys, not the fade ones, just the black. And I just kind of put them on top so they don't get crushed. And that is everything in there. The only other thing I would put in is probably my phone. This is the 7 Plus and the case is from Unique Find. I will link that as well. And then that is just in the middle zip compartment. Now this bag is now fully packed. I don't think I would put much more in there. Um, like I said, not everyone is going to want to take all of this stuff. But I do like to be prepared. I'm covered, you know? Whatever I need, it's in my bag. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this kind of different style of what's in my bag. Just showing you kind of how I decide what's going in or little ways that I make it a bit easier if you have a smaller bag. And yeah, I am obsessed with this bag. I'd probably say this about every Angela Ward bag I ever get, but it is just such a nice size. Like I said, it's not too big that I can overfill it, although... It's pretty full. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, doing things backwards. Definitely let me know what your must-haves are for your bag or whatever it is that you carry. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to add you to the family. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.